Right, so this first pattern's uh, really simple. What we're going to do is take all your fingers, just uh, gently rest them on the string. Don't press down, just gently rest them. And then what you're going to do is get this part of your hand and rest that on the strings up at this end, okay? That's going to give you this really kind of heavy muted sound, okay? And the pattern we're going to be doing is, um, well, basically just try and match it to the song. You know, it's a little bit difficult, uh, the sort of timing, but it sounds something like this then. Okay, if you look at the tab, it's once, then three times, then twice, so. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then if you look at the next part, I'm going to play it four times, a quick pause, then once more, so. Dun, so in total, dun, 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 dun. Okay, and if you look at the tab, we're just going to do that twice, alright, that entire sort of muted part and the X's, you know, all that means that's just a muted notes, okay, so in total. Okay, there we go then, okay, that's uh, the first part of the intro, intro A, like I said, really simple. And the next part, the uh-oh, 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 that part is something like this then. Okay, so pretty simple really, uh, power chord shapes, index finger, fret 5, string 6, ring finger, fret 7, string number 5, and your little finger, fret 7, string 4. We're going to play this once, and then we're going to play it twice, and then go down a string and play that twice, so. Okay, and when we do the on the string below, after each shape, after each uh, strum, take this part of your hand and lay it down on the strings to end the note. So, dun dun. Okay, so um, you know, start off again. Okay. If you look at the next part of the tab, it's just going to go back up, and then back down, and then back up, dun dun, and then slide it all the way down. So your index fingers at fret two. So you're covering strings four and five, but don't cover string six because we need to play that open. It's going to be the dun dun. Okay, so I'll stop in the note. And then all the way back up to that first shape and dun dun. Alright, so. Okay, so you know that's like the strumming pattern there then. And that's intro A and intro B. Alright, so the next part is verse A. And uh, I think that bit is where you start singing four years and you think for sure. And uh, it's going to sound like this then. Really kind of heavy palm muted, so. Okay, that's the first part there then. And uh, to start off with, it's going to be back to that chord that we played in the intro. So, uh, index finger. Fret 5, string 6, ring finger, fret 7, string 5, and your little finger, fret 7, string number 4. I'm going to play once, and then taking this part of your hand, laying that down on the top of the strings to palm mute it, and we're just going to pick the top string 12 more times, okay, so in total. Okay, then from there, slide it down to 2 and 4, exact same thing. Okay. Slide that up to three and five. So that was the same thing again. And then all we're going to do is slide it back up to that start position and then just go down a string. So you're going to play those three strings uh, once and then this time it's going to be picking string five 12 times. So. Okay, so in total. That's basically how you play verse A. Um, if you look at the tab now, the next part is going to be exactly the same as the first part. Okay, so that's the. Okay, then the next part after that, that's where we're going to go just up to frets 3 or 5. Okay, and then it goes back to that 5 and 7 like it did the first time. And the only difference now is, instead of muting, you know, all that kind of thing, 
we're just going to play it 12 times, okay? If you look at the tab, um, I think we sort of start off by playing just two strings, and then we end up playing all three, okay? So it's kind of like getting heavier and a bit louder, so basically just... Okay, and at the end, we just slide your hands down, okay? So, uh, you know, the last part of the chorus, uh, the last part of the verse there, then, you know, it's going to be like this again, then, so... Okay, something like that, alright, so that's how you play verse A there then. So the next part, just chorus A, it's going to sound like this then. Okay, so uh, all we're doing there then, just two fingers, your index finger to fret 5, string 5, ring finger, fret 7, string number 4. Downwards eight times, slide it up to seven and nine, downwards eight times, then just repeat that, okay again, so. Okay, that's the first part. Second part starts off the same. And then all we're going to do now is slide your index finger, a bit of a stretch, down to fret four, string number uh, five, okay, so. Again, if you find that a bit difficult, instead of using your ring finger, just use your little finger instead. So, you know, that part. So it's really easy for me to make the switch there. So to end it then, slide up to fret 7. So index finger, fret 7, string number 5, your ring finger, fret 9, string 4, little finger, fret 9, string 3. I'm going to go 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, and slide down, so. Okay, do, 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 do. So uh, right from the start of the chorus then, if you watch, I'll play it with my index finger and my little finger like that. So, you know, here we go. Okay, so that's the um, first chorus, that's chorus A, and that's when he's singing about it, and you still don't have the right look. Okay, so next up we've just got the breakdown, so that's uh, uh, Reese Witherspoon, she's the prom queen, Bill Gates, captain of the chess team, that part, and that's going to sound like this then. Okay, so uh, really simple, index finger on fret 2. So you're covering strings 4 and 5, but don't cover string 6, because we're going to play that open. We're going to play it once. Okay, then just move your finger down a string. So now you're just covering strings uh, 3 and 4, okay? Play it twice. Then it's back up. Okay, dun dun, and then back down. Dun, dun. So if you look at my finger, it's kind of like dun 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 dun. So... Okay, if you look at the tab, the next part's exactly the same, so... Yep, if you look at the tab again now then, it's just updated, it's going to start off exactly the same, and then it's just going to go to your index finger on fret 5, string 5, ring finger, fret 7, string number 4, play that 8 times, and slide up 2 frets, and play it 8 times again, so this last part... Okay, so that's how to play the breakdown then. I think straight after that it's got like a little bit of a fill where it goes. Something like that, okay. So uh, all we're doing there then, uh, you can put any finger you want. So your index finger, that's a fret 12, string number 1. I'm going to play it three times. Okay, and then play it open. Finger back on. Open. Finger back on. And then finish. Open. So... Okay, and that's a little fill. Right, so the solo is pretty simple then. It's all going to be octave shapes, and um, it'll just sound something like this then. Okay. 
Okay, so um, to do that then, index finger, fret number 6, uh, string 5 in your ring finger, fret 8, string 3. You'll notice we've got string 4 in the middle there. What we're going to have to do is with your first finger, lay your finger a little bit more flat like that. Don't arch it round, lay it flat so that the bottom part of your finger is touching string 4 and muting it, okay? So when you play the strings you can only really hear those two, so... Alright, I'm going to play this five times in total, it's going to be once, then kind of four more, then we're just going to move it down to frets four and six, then slide that to two and four, and then go all the way back up to six and eight, so... Okay... Alright, something like that. Then the next part's going to start off the same, and then this time, instead of sliding down, we're going to go upwards, okay? You're going to move your fingers up to 7 and 9, and then slide that up to 9 and 11, and then go back down to 6 and 8, so... Okay? So, first uh, two parts. Okay, and then... Yep. And from there, then, we're going to start off on 7 and 9. We're going to play this uh, once, then four more times and then we're going to slide it from uh, 6 and 8 up to 7 and 9 and then go all the way up to 9 and 11 and play that three times so okay something like that then if you look at the tab now it's totally changed and all we're going to do is go up to 11 and 13 we're going to play it eight times and then we're going to do it eight times again but the, uh, like the second eight times we're going to start to bend up uh, string number three, okay. And if it sounds a bit like out of tune, you know, it doesn't really matter because in the song, you know, that's kind of what it's sounding like. So, okay, something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the solo. Uh, take it nice and slow. You'll get there with it eventually. Don't worry about that. And uh, you know, play it once more for your dead slow. So that's the solo there then. Next up it's the chorus B. The whole damn world is just as obsessed. You know that part. It's going to be. So it's exactly the same pattern as we've been playing earlier. Just on some different uh, chord shapes. So index finger, fret 7, string number 6. Your ring finger, fret 9, string 5. Little finger, fret 9, string number 4. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, down a string, dun dun, and back up. Okay, and we're basically just going to keep that pattern going then. So back down, and back up. So, so far. Okay, then all the way down to two and four, dun dun dun, dun. then all the way back up to seven and nine, dun dun. So, that's chorus B, the next part then is just chorus C, and that's it, and you still don't have the right look, and um, that's going to be like this. Okay, so uh, index finger. Fret 7, string number 5, your ring finger, fret 9, string number 4, downwards 8 times, then go up to 9 and 11, 8 times, and just do that entire thing twice, so... Okay, from there we're going to slide it down to 4 and 6, yeah, then back up to 7 and 9, Okay, then finally up to 9 and 11, and then just also put your little finger onto fret 11 string 3, and it's going to be dun 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 dun, dun and slide it down. Okay, so chorus C uh, in total, right from the start. Okay, and then that's just going to bring us uh, to the very end of the song, the outro, 
And then the outro is actually the same as intro B. So, you know, hopefully you can remember that part. And that's where it's the uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And then I think it ends with high school never ends. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, I've played it already. So just watch me playing it. You know, watch the tab. <laughs> Okay, and just uh, end it, and just stop the note. So um, that is the intro. So that is the outro for the song. And like I said, it's basically just intro B. Okay, so you know there's no point in sort of relearning that part. And uh, that brings us to the end of this lesson then for uh, Bowling for Soup High School Never Ends, brought to you by FastFingerFreddy.com. Uh, you know, check out my site, sign up if you've not done already. Um, you know, I keep posting new videos all the time.